The Spanish automaker Seed produces the Cupra Formentor as part of its Cupra Performance Focused subbrand. It is a small crossover SUV or C segment. It is the first automobile created for the subbrand and marketed as a coupe SUV. The introduction of the production version was postponed until March 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, forcing the cancellation of the 2022 Geneva Motor Show. It was exhibited as a concept car that was almost ready for production during the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. The Formentor Peninsula on the Mallorcan island of Spain is the source of the name. In late September 2020, the Formentor's manufacturing process began. 100% Cupra DNA was used in their first model. It is a custom SUV coupe that epitomizes Cupra's high performance. It is brash, daring, and tremendously strong. The Tribe Edition of Cupra VZ, for dedicated sports fans, the new Cupra Formentor VZ Tribe Edition offers a superior racing appearance and a driving experience worthy of an actual member of the Cupra Tribe. A limited edition trim with sport black matte external cladding and other bonuses is the VZ Tribe Edition. Kinetic Energy Mounted on VZ engines for maximum performance with 19-inch sport black wheels adding a dramatic touch. The debut product from Seat's performance brand offshoot is the Cupra Formentor. There are SUVs with larger trunks and higher driving positions available. And while this one looks fantastic inside and out and is entertaining on the correct roads, the Cooper Formentor is a new performance brand's first distinctive model. Although you may have previously seen the Cooper moniker at the end of hot seat models, you will now be starting to see it at the front of cars that aren't merely tarted up seats. The Formentor, a family SUV that competes with VW T-Roc R and BMW X2 M35i, is where we start. Even while the Cooper badge resembles a tribal tattoo you might get in Magaluf combined with a hangover, the exterior appears like a shot of Barocca. Despite having the same number of doors and seats as the brand's other SUV, the Cupra Ateca, it has a considerably sportier edge thanks to its sloping roofline and sharp creases. The good news keeps coming inside since the Formentor and the T-Roc R or an X2 M35i is noticeably more eye-catching than an Ateca. It includes a tall center console, a dash and doors with distinctive styling, an extensive widescreen infotainment system in the middle, and other appealing features. Quality is also excellent. However, we wish there were more inside customization options, and the same holds for the outside wheel selections. The cost of the Cooper Formentor, the RRP range for the Cooper Formentor, is £30,205 to £46,210. However, it can help you save an average of £739. If paying with cash, prices begin at £29,606. Payments each month start at £292. Prices begin at less than 30,000 pounds with a 150 horsepower petrol engine that gets you the base V1 standard, whereas the cheapest BMW X2 costs just over 32,000 pounds. The Fermenter VZ3, which has a 310 horsepower and costs about $46,000, is at the other extreme of the spectrum. There are five unique specification levels and five different engines, including two plug-in hybrids to choose from, with prices starting at £37,770. And if we're talking about performance and driving comfort, sporty automobiles only sometimes function well in the city. When running across a town for a pint of milk, suspension designed for high-speed control and rewarding handling may seem overly stiff. Although it rides intensely, the Cooper Formentor avoids being unpleasant. Four separate driver profiles are included with dynamic chassis control in three of the five standard levels, VZ1, VZ2, and VZ3. The Formentor is surprisingly simple to live within the city when comfort is selected. Although you don't hear the loud thud you do in other sports cars, you can still feel the bumps in the road. Even though the windscreen pillars are rather substantial, the forward view is usually decent. The tiny screen and substantial back pillars obstruct your over-the-shoulder perspective. Every Fermenter includes rear parking sensors, all models save the base model also have front sensors, and a rear view camera is fortunate. Park Assist is a feature included in 4 out of 5 trim levels. It will maneuver the car into a parking place for you. However, you will still need to use the brake and throttle controls. When doing low speed maneuvers, a Cupra Fermenter with a DSG automatic transmission might be jerky, but it's smooth in all other circumstances. If we talk about the motorway, it depends on the fermenter you choose, and you'll have plenty of poke available at 70 mph because performance varies from brisk to insane. 
The ambient cabin lighting at the front doors includes a unique function that flashes if you risk drifting approaching a car in your blind area. It's a great creative approach to have safety and interior design. Even though you sit much lower than you would in an SUV, even a sporty one, the seats are comfortable so that you can look forward to extended rides without discomfort. The noise inside the cabin at high speeds is another issue if you travel a lot of road kilometers. Road and wind noises are both noticeable than they should be. Space and practicality. The Cooper Formentor has plenty of room up front while seeming more like a hatchback than an SUV. The seat is shockingly low to the floor, and compared to other SUVs, the entire vehicle is closer to the ground. The Fermenter Sport's needs are met by it, but if you're looking for an SUV because you like the comfort of a high-up driving position, you might need something else. Leather-covered bucket seats are standard on the VZ2 and VZ3. and the V1, sport seats are standard. On the V2, leather-covered bucket seats are an upgrade. The VZ1 has bucket seats. However, the leather upholstery is replaced with cotton. Both seats are comfy, but the figure-hugging buckets are more supportive if you want to enjoy your fermenter on a country road. Between the front seats, there are two cup holders and the glove box is a decent size. Storage is provided by deep door bins made to hold a large bottle. There is more storage space and a 12-volt outlet under the armrest. So far, so nice, although there are several things about the cabin that we don't like. It's challenging to operate the touch-sensitive pads that control the air conditioning's temperature without looking away from the road and the fact that they aren't lighted at night is just plain frustrating. Availability in the rear seats The Cooper Fermenter may have little space in the back when viewed from the outside. Although the coupe-like appearance is eye-catching, the back of the car could be more welcoming. You'll be pleasantly surprised to find good head and legroom in the back for adults to feel comfortable. Three people can squeeze across the back bench in a pinch, but two are more comfortable. The middle armrest may be folded down if there is no third passenger. Two cup holders are on the armrest, but it's unpleasant that they are never covered, so the plastic won't irritate the passenger's elbow. Boot Area Although a mirror load lip needs to be crossed, it is not high enough to make loading problematic. But let's face it, the Kia Sportage and Skoda Karak have more giant chunks if that's your priority, and this SUV is more about performance than practicality. There are 450 liters of capacity, which is enough but not exceptional. We managed to fit five carry-on items. There is a tiny slope to the floor when the back seats are folded down, which may be done using levers in each side of the boot. However, it is unfortunate that you can't stow the baggage cover under the boot. Accessories, Technology, and Interior Design One of the most elegant coupe SUVs is the Cooper Fermenter, which is lovely inside. The style is improved with bronze accents, and most materials are nicely polished. There are some rough, scratchy plastics on the lower doors and towards the back of the cabin, but this is true of most vehicles in this price range. Instead of traditional dials, the big steering wheel frames a digital display that's comfortable to grasp. The information most essential to you while driving may be configured to appear on the screen. Even if you choose the entry-level V1 model, it is standard. There is no slumming it with a little screen in the entry model. All four mentors, from the least expensive to the most expensive, all come with a 12-inch touchscreen infotainment system. It has a beautiful appearance and reacts to screen presses rather rapidly. The interior designers of the Cupra appear to be afraid of buttons, like many others in the VW group, and instead favor touchscreen menus and touch-sensitive pads. Although it has a clean, minimalistic appearance, it was scrolling through menus while driving might be distracting. Using the touchpads to adjust the air conditioning temperature takes far more effort than turning a knob. Every automobile also comes with Cooper Connect. When a warning light illuminates or service is needed, this app-based service connects your car and phone and will connect you with your friendly neighborhood seat dealer. Other features include helping you locate your vehicle if you need to remember where you parked it and remotely managing to charge if you have a plug-in hybrid vehicle. As the Formentor is a new model and Cooper is a new brand, it is too soon to assess dependability. However, the fact that every Cooper shares at least one trait with seat and the rest of the VW group offers you a good sense of the reliability you may anticipate. Do let us know about your thoughts and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. That is all we have for you and see you in the next video.